Happy Friday, folks. We made it to the end of the week, and it was a warm one, but it was a cloudy one to round out the business week. A live look at our Dakota Magic Casino Skycam shows a bit of a light breeze out there out of the south, but notice uh, some clear sky there on the horizon there in the Hankinson area. This is looking towards South Dakota at this hour. At Hector International Airport, we are seeing those clouds hanging on a little bit more, though. Temperatures around 20 at the airport at this hour. South winds around 5 miles per hour, so a bit of a wind chill around 13 degrees for the wind chill. But uh, temperatures in the 20s still for the warm spots, still 13 in Bidette and Bemidji if you still do still plan on heading out for your Friday evening, uh, 21 this hour in Grand Forks. So there's the satellite and radar. Notice down toward the Hankinson area on the satellite, we are seeing some clearing of the sky there just outside of Hankinson where we saw on that Dakota Magic Casino sky cam. So down near Watertown, even seeing some clear sky. And that does extend all the way into Lemoore and Dickey counties as well. So maybe seeing some clear sky out there. But where you see those clouds hanging on from Devil's Lake, through Lake of the Woods County, down through Fargo, we could be seeing still some flurries here or there under those clouds. And we are watching a, a bit of more organized snowfall activity. It is very light at this time, but near the Laramore area, and that's moving down Highway 2 toward Grand Forks as well. So maybe seeing just a light coating of some snowfall up in the Northern Valley with those uh, lighter snow showers making their way through. But here's those winds. Uh, we're seeing the south winds only around five miles per hour or so. So it's just enough to keep our temperatures uh, fairly flat at this hour, uh, but uh, and just enough to not give us too much of a wind chill either. So that's the good news there. Uh, the windiest spot this hour, Devil's Lake with an eight mile per hour wind out of the west. Here's the hour by hour overnight, seeing some single digits, especially in Minnesota. But it looks like we still have some clouds hanging on. We may be seeing a few breaks in the clouds. And where we do see those breaks, we do expect colder temperatures. But by midnight, seeing a lot of single digits to lower to middle teens across the board. We stay in that range waking up on Saturday. Most of Saturday morning looks pretty quiet. Uh, it's not till about lunchtime or so. I do expect some clouds to increase and some snowfall to begin, especially in our southern neighborhoods. But some of the areas in the Devil's Lake Basin by lunchtime could be seeing some snow showers beginning as well. So this up here is a cold front we're watching. This down here is not connected to that cold front, but is where we expect the heaviest bad snowfall in our southern and eastern neighborhoods. So just a quick dash of snow making its way through the Devil's Lake Basin in the afternoon tomorrow. Heavier snowfall moving into central Minnesota as we head toward dinner time on Saturday. So by, notice by about 8 o'clock, most of the snowfall in North Dakota is done. Still seeing some snowfall continuing, even heavy at times in our northern Minnesota neighborhoods. But I do expect by midnight or so that will be exiting off toward the east. And here's how much snowfall I'm expecting. One to three inches for most of us in Minnesota. Could see some areas of two to four inches toward the south and east. But uh, Devil's Lake Basin down toward Jamestown, nothing at all to maybe an inch of snowfall when everything is said and done. And that cold front that brings that shot of snowfall to the northern valley makes things quite a bit colder on Sunday. Temperatures fall through the day on Sunday starting off around 8, but cooling to near 0 in the afternoon, then cooling further to around negative 3 by Monday morning, only warming to 9 degrees Monday, so a cold start to the business week. A warm front comes through Wednesday, though. Could see a few flakes here or there. And the good news, Mike and Andrea, temperatures warm. They rebound to near 30 degrees by the end of next week.